What is up guys, Adrian here from Launch TV, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to help you decide which Halloween Horror Nights ticket is best suited for you for this year's Universal Orlando Halloween Horror Nights event. And before we dive into this completely, I feel like I need to say this, any ticket that you purchase for this year's event, any of them, whether it's a single night ticket or an ultimate frequent fear ticket, you will be eligible to get a six month free trial of Peacock TV. And no, this isn't a paid advertisement by Peacock because why would they reach out to me when there's way bigger creators out there? But hey, it's just a cool idea and I thought you guys would like to hear that too. And honestly, on Peacock, you can actually watch Chucky before going into the house itself, kind of getting you excited for that house altogether. But now let's talk about these tickets because there is an array of different tickets here and honestly, they vary in price. And to help you pick which one is best, it's kind of depending on your situation. So let's start off by talking about single night tickets. Single night tickets can start at $79.99 and go all the way up to $119.99, both of those having tax included. Now this can be a great decision for you if you're only attending one night of the event. A single night ticket would be perfect. And honestly, if you're just trying to go in, have some fun, it's a great way to do it. And also, don't forget, if you have a premier annual pass, which is the top level annual pass, you do have a free night to attend the event. However, it is very kind of limited. It's only during the weekdays and Sunday, and it's only one night as well. So I'm going to throw this in here with the single night ticket as well. However, let's say you want to attend more than one night of the event, then a multi-night ticket might just be the best option for you. We have four different types of fear passes or multi-night passes that you can choose from. They are going from Rush of Fear, Frequent Fear, Frequent Fear Plus, and the Ultimate Frequent Fear Pass. All of them vary in price, and I'm going to tell you what each individual one costs, the dates that they allow you to go, and the little details that you need to know as well. Now the first ticket that we're going to talk about, the first one of the bunch, the cheapest option, and that is the Rush of Fear Pass. A lot of people like to call this the September Pass for the fact that it typically runs almost the entire month of September, but that might be its only flaw if I'm being quite honest. So you're able to attend the first first 18 nights of Halloween Horror Nights that goes September 1st all the way through September 24th. And if you're wondering how much the ticket's going to cost you, well look no further. The pass costs you $179.99 plus tax, and let's say you want to add Express onto it because you don't really feel like waiting in line, it's going to drop the price up to $529.99, which if you're looking to visit the event for let's say opening weekend, this ticket would be perfect for you. Let's say you purchase three individual single night tickets for opening weekend. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That's gonna cost you about a little over $300. So just put that into perspective. You'll have access to the first four weekends. So not just those three days, it's going to cost you almost a little less than half of what it would cost you to purchase tickets individually. So think about it that way. It's a fraction of the initial price and it's going to be very beneficial for you. So if you're planning to go in September, this is the pass for you. Now let's say you just want to visit in October, and now I know it sounds amazing, but there is no Rush of Fear 2 Electric Boogaloo for this. There isn't really an October pass similar to the Rush of Fear, so if you want to visit all the nights in September, Rush of Fear. But if you want to start visiting some dates in October, then here we go. We are going to start off with the first pass that we have that has October dates, and that is the Frequent Fear Pass, which will bump up your night total from 18 to 30, and it will allow you to visit every Sunday through Thursday of the event, including opening weekend as well however just so you know it doesn't include closing weekend it includes that Thursday but that's it and the price of this pass is going to be $229.99 plus tax and if you want to add Express onto it as well it is going to be $609.99 now let's just say you're trying to debate if you really want to get this ticket or if you want to get something else so I believe this is perfect for someone that really has a job that has them to focus on weekend so if you can't really go out Friday Saturday Sunday it's kind of perfect for you because you can visit the event throughout the weekday when it's least busy as well so a whole lot of positives here but just know you don't have every Friday or Saturday and you don't have closing weekend I think those are two major setbacks for this pass however it is still a very nice pass to have because it allows you to visit as much as you like during that time frame but I want to go on Fridays you say well let's move forward on to the frequent fear plus pass which includes every Sunday through Friday of the event plus it's going to grant you access into the first and last weekend meaning you get both opening and closing weekend with this pass now it's going to run you about $269.99 plus tax and of course if you want to add express it's going to cost you $699.99 plus tax and this personally is a pass that a ton of my friends end up purchasing because one the most 
busy night of the event is always Saturday. So typically going to the event whenever you like besides that Saturday is kind of perfect. So it's a nice little blend. And the fact that you get both opening and closing weekend kind of make up for the little price gap between the Frequent Fear Plus and the regular Frequent Fear Pass. So I mean, it's almost the perfect pass if you want to check out both of those weekends, as well as the chance to visit every single Friday. So it's the perfect pass if you want to see both opening and closing weekend, and if you want to visit almost entirely every single day of the week, except for Saturdays. And now let's just say you have a super inconsistent work schedule and you never know if you're going to be able to make it on Fridays or Saturdays or even any other day of the week, but you love this event so much that you just want to be able to go whenever you can and however many nights that you want. And well, this is our ultimate frequent fear pass. This pass grants you access to all 48 event nights. Yes, that is every single night. So you don't have to worry about missing closing weekend. You don't have to worry about missing Saturdays. You don't have to worry about anything because there are zero blackout dates right here. And if you're wondering just how much this ticket will cost you, it is going to be $374.99 plus tax. And if you would like to add express to it, it's going to cost you $919.99 plus tax. Now, now, this pass is usually one that I purchased because it allows me to go as frequently as I like to and I don't have to worry about anything because I can go any night of the event. And honestly, the amount of times I've gotten off of work super late and just decided to go to Horror Nights afterwards, it's not even funny. Like, it's a perfect opportunity to just go whenever you want. And you can't typically do that with the other passes unless you're just worried about the month of September. Then you have the Rush of Fear pass. So now you're sitting here watching this video and you're wondering, what ticket should I get for Hornets this year? Well, let me break it down to you like this. The way I look at it is it all depends on how frequently you're going to visit the actual event. Are you gonna go as much as you can? If so, then get the ultimate frequent fear. It allows you to go every single night of the event, but maybe you're looking to just go opening weekend and closing weekend. Well then the frequent fear plus will be your best friend. But if you wanna step down another notch and you don't really care about losing Fridays, go and get the regular frequent fear pass. And of course, if you're just going in September, the rush of fear will be your best friend. Now I will always recommend getting a multi-night ticket when it comes down to Horror Nights due to the fact that it's really difficult to do everything at the event in one night. Yes, it's possible, but you need to have a pristine game plan. And I mean, you need to make sure that you know every single thing that you're going to do. You need to stay in screaming that right location. You need to make sure that everything goes perfectly and according to plan. So I feel like the multi-night ticket truly allows you the opportunity to go ahead and visualize everything that's going to happen at Horror Nights, go through all the houses, take your time, enjoy the scare zones, enjoy all of the live entertainment. Now, I will say this, if you do want to go during a less busier time, September is the best time to go. And if you're only going to be here for September, the Rush of Fear will be your best friend. This was the first ever type of multi-night ticket that I purchased and I bought it back in 2015. And honestly, it was the best thing I ever did because it allowed me to revisit the event as much as I could during the month of September. Now, I'm not saying to not buy a single night ticket, but I'm just saying that I believe that you will truly be able to enjoy everything and not feel too rushed if you purchase a multi-night ticket. And now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I really hope that it helped you make a decision on what ticket you're going to be purchasing for Horror Nights this year. And if it did, let me know down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you guys already haven't done so, and stay excellent, my dudes.